Um, I'm Claudia Conway. I'm 16. My mom is Kellyanne Conway. She works for Donald Trump. She was the campaign manager in 2016, the first woman to lead a successful presidential campaign. And she had a long and successful career in conservative politics and polling before that. President-elect Donald Trump senior advisor Kellyanne Conway back with us. Great to have you. you. And a new role just announced moments ago. You were going to serve as counselor to the president. I am. You'll be in the West Wing? I will. Kellyanne Conway has been by the president's side through thick and thin. There is no den she will not go into. When my men are petrified to go on a certain network, I say, Kellyanne, would you do it? Absolutely, no problem. Then she gets on and she just destroys them. I have four kids. We meet your family. I see them behind you. Well, they, they are, are so cute. George. Oh, George. Look at them. Oh, they are yeah. not shy. Charlotte and Vanessa and okay. their brother George is off camera. And your dad. We need dad to come closer. Oh, yeah. Hi. Yeah. We've never, I've never met your husband either. Nice to meet you. Noted to conservative attorney George Conway. George Conway, the conservative lawyer who is married to White House counselor Kellyanne Conway. The aforementioned George Conway. Thanks for being here. And thanks for having me. My mom literally has been working under Donald Trump for four years. Um, it's been four years. And I'm 15, so what, I was 11, maybe? Um, when he was elected, 12, maybe? It's, if you had told me three years ago that it would come to this, I, I, I wouldn't have believed it. Girls, come over here, please. I can't Hi. wait to meet you. I've heard so Mrs. much Mrs. about Earhart. you. Now, what is your name? I'm Claudia. You're Claudia, how old are you, Claudia? I'm 12. 12, and how old are you? Eight. Charlie, nine. 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 And you're, how old are you? I'm uh, seven. seven. Yeah. And our son, George, is off camera. All right, he's, 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 he's a little shy. George is your twin, right? Yes. Okay, what's that like being a twin? It's good and bad, but I, I, we love each other. Um, I don't know. We always know what each other's like thinking, really. Uh, we're, now, we're best friends, really. What's it like seeing your mom on TV all the time? Um, it's interesting. It gets really, I don't know. George, you're laughing. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because that's an interesting word for her to use. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like for you, George? Well, it's, yeah, my mom. I, Hi, my mom. it's interesting, as, I, as she said, and uh, it's exciting. It's really just a big thrill to see Kellyanne here at the White House and, and working with the president and doing all sorts of exciting things. My children have had the privilege of being at the White House, but at the same time, they just want normal childhoods the way they all do, and, and it's my first duty to make sure that they have that. And you know what? I guess this is my life now. Like, I can't really, I can't do anything about it. Like, I blew up. You know, I, I... I blew up and I, that wasn't on me. Like I all of a sudden, overnight I had like five, 300,000 followers and like I couldn't do anything about it. And I know that I have a platform. So that's why I've been talking about this. And that's why I'm so open about talking about the abuse and trauma that I endured because I think it's so important um, because I know people who, you know, have endured the same abuse and have gone through the same trauma. And I, you know, I just, I figured I had to come on here and talk about this because this is like insane. This is about telling you the truth about what really happened. No, I'm not okay. Thanks, guys, though. I'm just showing everyone the truth. Also, she keeps insulting my mental health. What Kellyanne Conway did the other day was super illegal. Also, like, this just, like, isn't funny. Like, it's just, like, this isn't a joke. Like, I know I joke about this a lot, but, like, this isn't a joke. Like, my mental health is at an all-time low right now. is Kellyanne Conway. She works for Donald Trump and she just tweeted that she is leaving the White House 
and my dad tweeted that he's leaving the Lincoln Project, which is basically um, Republicans against Trump. Breaking news out of Washington, D.C. tonight. On the eve of the Republican National Convention, White House Counselor Kellyanne Conway announced she's leaving the Trump administration. In a statement, Conway said she will depart at the end of the month to focus on family matters. Conway's husband, George, a vocal critic of President Trump, tweeted he would be leaving his role with the Lincoln Project for similar reasons. Their 15-year-old daughter, Claudia, tweeted yesterday that she was seeking emancipation from her parents. Please don't believe anything that you see, especially like my parents saying that they're doing it for the family. They're not. Like, they're not at all. They didn't say anything about this. They literally just tweeted about it. I was at a friend's house um, having a nice night, and that's how I found out. There was no discussion, no family discussion about this. I was not asked about how I felt about anything. I literally just found out. I found out 20 minutes ago. You all probably found um, out, you know, earlier than me, sooner than me. I don't want pity. Like, please don't pity me. I'm just very, very, very overwhelmed. And I can't even cry anymore because I'm so numb, like, to crying. Like, I just can't. And no, it wasn't talked about with me first. Um, nothing was talked about me. No, nothing was talked about to me. They, I found out on Twitter, which is really, really sad, but it's the truth. Whereas for me, you know, I've been talking about emancipation for a while now. I've been talking about it for a few years now, and they know that. So yes, I will be, I will be pushing for emancipation. I turned 16 in October, so I'm waiting until then. I tweeted about my emancipation yesterday, which is kind of just a coincidence. Which is really frustrating because my parents were talking about divorce and they were supposed to get divorced, but I'm assuming that now they're not because they're scared of me emancipating myself, which is really unfair, but um, I guess that's life. So, and now their case is going to be a lot stronger against mine because, you know, they left for family reasons. But I can tell you, being their daughter, they don't give a shit. Like, they don't give a shit. Um, my dad doesn't care about me. He never, he's never cared about me. Um, he probably doesn't even know my middle name, uh, which is really sad, but it's true. You know, he never really cared about me my whole life. He always belittled me when I was younger. My dad physically abused me a lot right here in this very room. And my mom, the same thing with my mom. You know, my mom got me arrested. You know, she's very, very physically abusive. Um, very, very verbally abusive. I've been belittled and badgered my entire life. And, and you know, I have all these, you know, you know, I have all these issues because of my parents and what they did to me. So I, I'm still pushing for emancipation because I deserve justice. I think anyone who's gone through what I've gone through deserves justice because it's not okay. Um, people like this shouldn't be allowed to have kids. They shouldn't be allowed to work, be one of the most powerful women in the world. Um, my mom should have never had her position in the first place. My mom, I think my mom is like, a sociopath. She, I, if I'm just gonna be honest, like she has no compassion for my feelings or anything or nothing. Um, you know, like I said, she got me arrested and you know, I can say like, oh, she got me arrested, but there's a whole story behind it and it's a really fucked up story. It's really, really fucked up. I think they're just scared that I'm going to emancipate myself, which I am, I'm going to try. Uh, hopefully I will succeed, but the odds against me aren't very, they aren't looking too good right now. And they were filing for divorce. My mom did final, was trying to finalize things. But I guess they're putting on this whole show for the publicity in the media. Um, my siblings don't know, which is really, really unfair because nothing was ever talked about. None of this was ever talked about with my siblings. I have two little sisters. They are 10 and 12 years old, and they don't understand anything. They don't understand my mom's job. They don't understand who my mom works for. They don't understand the Lincoln Project. They don't understand anything, which really sucks. But, you know, when I was my sister's age, they have my mom more than I did when I was their age. You know, I never really had my mom, which is okay. Like, that's fine. I have to say, mother first, um, us as mothers aren't term limited. And I've always been there for my kids, but now I can be there more with them. You know, I grew up not really having my mom there, which is fine. But, like, for her to just, like, for them to, like, brush it off like it's nothing, it's just, like, really mentally overwhelming for me and I, I don't really know how to react right now like I'm I'm very like paralyzed in shock it's kind of just like a state of paralysis and shock 
But Kellyanne, I have to ask, you know, one of the people who has diminished the president very, very publicly is, is your husband, George Conway. Now we have a president who's actually criticized his own attorney general. Watch TV and Twitter lately, and one of Trump's most vicious critics is her own husband, George. The mendacity, the incompetence is just maddening to watch. The tweeting is just uh, the way to get it out of the way so I can get it off my chest and move on with my life that day. That's basically it. Frankly, it's so I don't end up screaming at her about it, presuming, uh, presumably talking about Kellyanne Conway. President Trump blasted the spouse of one of his top aides on Twitter, labeling him, quote, a stone-cold loser and husband from hell. George Conway has repeatedly raised his concerns about Trump's mental state on the social media platform, and the president responded to the most recent tweets, calling him, quote, Mr. Kellyanne Conway. You mean Mr. Kellyanne Conway? And writing that he is, quote, very jealous of his wife's success and angry that I, with her help, didn't give him the job he so desperately wanted. Reportedly, George Conway, citing family considerations, removed himself from the running for a position in the Justice Department. Trump continued saying, quote, I barely know him, but just take a look. A stone cold loser and husband from hell. George Conway refuted claims that Trump doesn't know him, telling The Washington Post that the two have had numerous conversations over the past decade. His response on Twitter included a link showing the diagnostic criteria for a narcissistic personality disorder and tweeting, quote, congratulations, you just guaranteed that millions of more people are going to learn about narcissistic personality disorder and malignant narcissism. Great job. No, I don't share those concerns. He thought the Twitter feud between President Trump and Kellyanne Conway's husband was going away anytime soon. Hmm, think again. George Conway retweeting all kinds of new attacks against the president today, including suggesting that Trump is mentally unstable. This comes as Kellyanne Conway is once again siding with her boss over her husband. My husband also has been very critical of the president publicly, which is unlike him, just because he's um, traditionally been a very private person. I was raised, though, in a household of strong Italian Catholic women who taught me that you air grievances like that in private. So it is very surprising to see it um, be so public. Well, I'm going to say very little about that, but we did. I did release my statement, and, and George uh, released a tweet as well, saying he was going to step back. And we're doing that for our kids. There's no question. Honestly, like I honestly think that there's no. It's not genuine, um, in what they're you know what they just did. It's not genuine. It's all because they look at my emancipation as a threat. I really, very rarely mentioned my kids. Um, I kept our lives very private. That's why people usually use the picture of the six of us from a Yankees game five years ago. Because mm -hmm. I've never had a Facebook account or an Instagram account, believe it or not. I don't post pictures of my kids every day. Um, I, I want them to think I'm a good mom. I don't need the whole world to think I am because I'm posting pictures. And, and maybe one day I'll get an Instagram account and you'll see, you know, Kellyanne and their kids after the White House. But you know what? I only went on one foreign trip, Martha. Uh, because I really didn't want to go away for six days, seven days, eight days at a time, five days at a time, and leave the kids here while I did that. So I did put limits. I just didn't run around and say, and I didn't go on the farm. You just make your decisions quietly. But uh, we, I'm not leaving the arena forever. I will announce my plans in the future. never really cared about me my whole life. He always belittled me. When I was younger, my dad physically abused me a lot. Um, right here in this very room. My mom, the same thing with my mom. You know, my mom got me arrested. You know, she's very, very physically abusive. Um, very, very, very abusive. I've been belittled and badgered my entire life. No, don't touch him. Fuck him. Give me that fucking phone, Jacob. I bash you to punch your fucking face. I don't have my phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I never threaten anyone. Don't use those words. Well, if I threaten somebody, you'll know it. If I, if I, if I threaten someone, you'll know it.
okay? Kellyanne Conway, those are your two sets of words there. Cap with Kelly. Asshole, you beat the shit out of my daughter. I can get you taken out of here today. Stupid ass thing you always say. I wish because fuck then you. she you know would fuck you. I told you that. You don't fucking listen. No, what the fuck is wrong with you? We got coronavirus from the president. We got everybody got coronavirus from somebody who was flew in for that event. That's not true. Think of coronavirus from the president. You're wrong. If you only knew what people thought of you. You don't know, because they know you got other problems. They'll take you, by the way. The only place that'll take you that you weren't going to post about your family anymore. You just lie to everyone, and everybody sees it. Everyone sees it. You're a grateful bitch. And since you're lucky, your mom's pro life. Fuck you! I thought it was over. It's over. I thought we had who's following you, dumbass. I'm fucking recording. You're never going to record another fucking thing in your life. It's going for a forensic analysis. One fucking bit for you to tell people I'm a bitch. What? 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 There's something wrong with you. Yeah, you're mocking is. me. You think I'm mocking you? I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Do you know what you've done to yourself? Years. Do you know what you've done to yourself? I'm 15. No. You're fucking immature. I'm afraid you get it all over the sheets that I clean. Can you ignore stop? Me. No, you don't ignore me. <laughs> asshole. I text them all day long. And they're paying attention to you because they know that you need extra help. What'd you call me? What do you want to know? Hypo? Hyper. No, I said hyper. You from the doctor's hypo? What do you want to know? Hypo? Hyper. No, I said hyper. Get my mom claims! Can you please, mom? No, you can't! I want you out of here! You were making you mad. Some 15 fucking year old made you mad. I just want to add a little context to what I just posted. Um, I know my words and everything's going to be twisted by the media. Like, the clip shared on Tuesday by the teenager are heavily edited. I couldn't fit it all into a 60 second video. I will release the full clips, but they are hours and hours and hours long. And it's clearly my... But I just want to put it out there. Um, I'm not looking to hate on my mom i just think that it's important to tell my side of the story and my experience i was just going through some videos i have hundreds and hundreds of videos just like that um and i thought it was important because you know as a woman who has such power in this country i don't think people really know how she is um and it's also you know a reminder to everybody who is in a similar situation that you're not alone and that you know trust me i get it um, in terms of what can be done, there's nothing that can really be done. Um, I tried everything, everything. Um, my parents are too powerful and nothing happens. Um, but I'm probably going to get into a lot of trouble for this. Um, but I just want everyone in the world watching this to know that I'm not lying at all. I wouldn't lie about anything like that. Also, I'm extremely scared after posting that. Um, very anxious, don't know what's about to happen. Um, yeah, and she's probably going to publicly say that she's not abusive, whatnot. Um, but that's kind of like what manipulators do and like narcissists. So um, I'm not looking for attention. I'm not looking for anything. Um, I just, you know, I'm in a situation that's really physically, mentally and emotionally um, abusive. And I think that it's important that everybody sees that. Um, but there really isn't anything I can do. So I just, you know, thought I should put it out there because um, I was contemplating putting things like that out there for, you know, one being the reason that I do live in an abusive household. Um, but yeah, I know that all my mom's friends and my family is going to say that I'm lying, looking for attention, but I'm not. Um, I have proof. That's my story. Is it terrifying? No, I don't think so. It's the way it is, you know showed up at my house like a few hours ago and I was home alone um and they were like hey and I was like hey and they were like you good and I was like yeah and then they were like all right peace
I'm really scared. But um, I also feel really like guilty, even though I shouldn't. Um, and I feel like an awful person. Um, but like, I'm not. It's just like the effects of gaslighting, I guess. But I'm. Uh, I deleted my videos because I'm really scared. Um, and I'm trending on Twitter, which scares me. But I'm good. I hope. Hi, I saw this comment in another video, but this was just on the recent one. Um, I will not leave social media on my own accord. Um, and if I stop posting or whatever, not me. Um, or if, like, nobody hears from me. I'm not looking for attention. I'm really not. I'm looking for safety. Um, that's it. <laughs> And I've literally shown you proof. If you want more proof, I will give more proof, but I don't know what else to do. She's upset, she's been upset for a week because we had a tough call with her school. They basically told her. The facts. She came down at 1.30 in the morning. At that point, I've been up for 22 hours. So let's go to family therapy. And sh and I want to do that. I would like to do that. And we talked about it. called that night and texted me and said, I'm sure your is 11th birthday. Not really. The people on TikTok who built her up, she went through a very hard time right before you were here on November 2nd. They tried, they wanted to cancel her because she had a party and they didn't see enough masks. And they think people are jealous of her. We love her. I was here with my daughter. Listen, she she can our, our private well, orders. You know, you know what, how it happens? Get rid of the phone, get rid of the internet, get rid of all that. I pay for, I pay for my phone. This came out of nowhere. This it didn't. It's been happening. I'm on a computer right now, um, but everything was taken from me, and I do not know what to do. I spent all day at the police office, police um, station, and nothing happened. And I don't even want to post this because I'm so scared. My Twitter feed is still people saying that parents yelling at their children is abuse. That is abuse. It's called verbal abuse, dumbass. That's what some of these motherfuckers are saying right now. How are we creating people this week? This pathetic in this fucking week. This was a common reaction on the internet, but I wanted to take the opportunity to say that this is not normal yelling. And if your parents speak to you like this, it is absolutely abuse. After Claudia's public outcry for help, Tana Mojo is the only public figure to reach out. Tana has openly discussed her years of growing up in an extremely abusive home. Tana is a YouTuber, influencer, and reality TV I'm star. I'm going to make a TikTok talking about something this morning because it has been keeping me up every single night for weeks now. A while ago, I came across this TikTok of this mom going in her daughter's room and like calling her every name in the book, being so emotionally abusive, treating her daughter terribly. I started commenting on videos like that, letting people know that their 18th birthday will be the best day of their life, that their parents are ill if they're doing that, and it's not. And all the comments are like, my respect for Tana, I had no idea Tana's a person too. Ugh. I commented on it because I realized it triggered the fuck out of me. I didn't even know things could trigger me like that. I literally started bawling my eyes out. It reminded me identically of my parents coming in my room and doing the same thing to me every day for my entire life. I think it's dope as hell we got social media now because y'all know I would have been blasting my parents on TikTok, exposing their asses. I grew up in a household where people told me to kill myself every day and that I would never be anything and that they never loved me and anything you can think of, you know? And while I hated my life a lot, then I'm so happy that I lived because I eventually learned that family isn't always blood for some people and that's okay. Stay strong, it will end. Claudia's restricted access to Twitter, fans relay the message to Claudia through TikTok. With no access to a phone, she uses the comment section of TikTok to provide Tana with her friend's phone number.
I just wanted to come on here and address my other videos. Um, I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to get anyone in my family in trouble. Um, I was just, you know, spreading awareness and expressing my feelings, but I will not be commenting on the situation further because there's nothing I can do about it. Um, yeah, um, but I hope you all stay safe. Um, and I hope you all have a great day. I love you all. Thank you for the support, but I'm not trying to get my mom in trouble um, or start drama or become a headline. So just spread love. That's all you can do. This world is so hateful. not a little TikTok kid. I'm a 31-year-old adult. I'm posting this because all the evidence has been removed from the internet and media has reported the events incorrectly. In addition, there is an investigation underway and my hopes is that this evidence will get to the appropriate parties. On Monday, January 25th at approx. 512 at Kelly Paul's Twitter account posted a nude topless photo of her 16-year-old daughter Claudia Conway on Twitter fleets. The photo was up for at least five minutes. An investigation has been launched after a topless photo of Kellyanne Conway's 16-year-old daughter shows up on her Twitter account. The former advisor to former President Trump reportedly posted the photo using the Fleets feature, which deletes posts after 24 hours. A few hours later, around 10 p.m., Claudia posted a TikTok asking what color she should dye her hair. Claudia's comments were flooded with comments saying, are we not going to talk about your mom posting your nudes? At first, Claudia was confused and thought it was a joke or a prank. I don't know if this is a joke or not, but... <laughs> like, I'm really scared. If this is a joke, please shut the fuck up. If it's not... Bye. Why did like one million of you comment this? Are you okay? If this is a joke, it actually isn't funny. Y'all are weird. Is this real? Is this real? Multiple Twitter users who saw the original post in Kelly and Fleet uploaded censored versions of the photo. These are at least two users I have evidence saw the original post. Both users posted different censored versions of the screenshot and tweeted they had seen the original Fleet on at Kelly Paul's account. So you can see that this user saw the fleet 30 seconds after it was posted. He actually did not know who the girl in the photo was and was asking that in his post. The version that he posted actually showed all of Claudia and only had the nipples censored. I did already have this post removed so don't bother going and looking for it. Also this version, um, you can't unedit it, it's been completely cut out. So you can see that this user actually saw it um, five minutes after it was posted. So we know it was up for that long. And she replied, what the fuck, dude, to Kellyanne. And she also knew who was in the photo. Um, she's the reason I think that most of the people on TikTok even found it. I thought the photo was posted at 517, but the other user took a screenshot around 417. So I'm not sure if um, my timing is off and this is due to time difference. So, so it might have actually happened way later. Claudia doesn't actually have Twitter. Her parents removed her from social media a couple of months ago, both Instagram and Twitter, I believe. They're taking down my uh, social media accounts because they can't handle me voicing my opinions. Just please stop supporting my dad also because he's trying to take down all my accounts too. So the user Warrior for Britney was tweeting out asking people to get in contact with Claudia and let her know. One of the accounts no longer exists, likely out of fear. Please do not harass the other person as they are a key piece of evidence. And someone made Claudia the screenshot to confirm it was her in the photo. In a state of shock, she regretfully posted her reaction as she was processing the information we were telling her. Apparently, um... That's real, and so here's what I guess happened. The pictures were months ago, and I'm assuming that when my mom took my phone, um, 
anytime she's taken it because she takes it all the time she took a picture of that so that was on her phone um and i guess she accidentally posted it or somebody hacked her but nobody ever nobody would ever have any photo like that ever um I'm shaking. I I don't know what to do. Um, nobody would ever have that photo, ever. It was on my phone. I don't think I've ever sent it to anyone. Um, so I'm assuming that my mom took a picture of it to use against me one day and then somebody hacked her or something because there is no physical possible way that anybody would have that photo of me. Um, I'm literally at a loss for words, and if you see it, report it. Um, my mom deserves to go to jail. That's that's unreal. Um, she's the only person that has it. Just talked to my ex. She was like, that's insane. At approx 12.20 a.m. January 26, Claudia began posting cryptic messages about self-harm. This is a completely understandable response for even the most mentally stable adult who has discovered their nude images have been released to the public and in no way reflects on Claudia's overall mental stability as a child. So I'm not really sure if this was five minutes later or 20 minutes later, but um, she ends up removing the last two videos she posted where she says her mom took a photo of the photo. Then she pretty much stops commenting completely and we don't really hear anything from her. So a lot of the people on TikTok were kind of freaking out. We didn't really know what was going on. Um, I went on to Twitter and same thing, everyone was very concerned. The Tory reporter I called the DC police to do a wellness check, but they said they can't without an exact location. And if I'm being completely honest, I do think that I waited too long before I made that call because I was so weary. I'd never really done this before for someone online or someone I didn't personally know. The dispatcher told me to stay on the phone and keep commenting to her to give me her location and was telling me what to tell. You don't need to do this. You don't have to deal with this alone. We will send someone. I am sending police. No response from Claudia. So I turned to Twitter. So the DC dispatcher was actually very compassionate and really concerned for Claudia, but she did tell me that it was pretty much impossible to put in a wellness check without a location or an address. Um, I'm only including this part in the story just for people to understand how incredibly difficult it was to send a suicide wellness check or a wellness check of any kind to someone over the internet and I don't think it should be that difficult. At this point it's 1.28 a.m. Um, it's This has been going on for over an hour and I've been on the phone with the dispatcher for about 20 minutes or so. I received an anonymous message from someone who provided her address but had to call the police department instead. Take my info and tell me they are sending someone. I was hoping they would take her to the hospital to evaluate her so she didn't have to spend the night at home and hopefully a doctor would believe a help her. Claudia starts commenting again but in Morse code. I'm okay but scared as fuck spread awareness please. What's going on are you safe? I am okay but really scared. I am begging you all. Please get people talking about this. Claudia stops posting Morse code. Claudia did the police come. I have to go to sleep. I have class tomorrow. They took her phone. Like that at all i've just been texting claudia for fucking days like i like i'm here for her i love her i want to get her out of it i think it's the saddest situation we are just texting right now she had to send me all these videos of proof that her mom basically did what she did today because her mom was starting to destroy her phone and then she starts texting me like things are escalating i'm scared i'm scared i don't know what to do you know like facetime me and then the police like barge in you're asking for two doctor videos of me that got a lot of likes. The other stuff doesn't. And that's going to bother her tremendously. That she's nothing without going out for her. 
And now yeah, it's yeah, too far. Yeah, I do not feel safe. Yeah. I do not feel yeah. safe with that little guy in your hand. Yeah. I don't feel safe. Because of the yeah. last week, you guys were yeah. calling yeah. your they're calling the cops on Claudia in her house right now with her fucking burner phone. Listen. She did the same thing last week. She did tonight. The movie got in her hand. Can't just move. I'm live again. Do you have the phone? Listen. I did delete it because I'm scared of you. I deleted it because I'm scared of you. There's no reason to be scared of me. You're the one trying to get people arrested and killed here. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Know, you remember that judge in, in New Brunswick? She's like, I'm lying. Like, she knows what I just want to make sure she knows. Dude, I just witnessed, I have her on mute, but I just witnessed his mom literally tell her daughter, like, you're a fucking cunt. Like, I hate you. Like, you can't get likes anymore on TikTok, so you have to show me, you, you don't take your tits out anymore. Like, you have to show me abusing you, like, to get likes. Like, while she's sitting here, they're trying to break her phones. Like, it's just whack. It's so ass. And they literally, because of the fucking, like, white power and privilege they have. How am I dangerous? Because of my phone and my She's asking people to get me arrested. I am not the one. She's asking people to get me arrested. No. You posted a naked picture of me. You literally posted a nude photo of me. And you can say you didn't, but millions of people saw it. But it's not even people. So fucking sad. Of what you did to him and the cops right there. You have a history. For someone who's like the cop, you sure do rely upon them often. Your ex-boyfriend told you, Claudia, this was posted by one person who had eight followers and had 32 comments. That's what he told you. Now you're lying to them that millions of people saw it. They didn't see it. That's why you're trending. Listen to me. She's trying to blame her for trending. And literally, the, the parents came to her. In the first place is what's concerning. And you can do whatever you want with me now, but you will end up in jail if you keep lying about this shit. The parents come to her and they're like, it's your fault. Um, you're threatening your mom's life. That's why we're sending you away to jail. So what are you going to do? You're going to get me arrested for that? What are you going to do? And she goes, how am I threatening her life? And they go, because she um, she's going to go to jail. Oh, I know. There's nothing on my phone. You took pictures of Yeah, she knows I'm live. She asked me to go live. I would never, ever, ever without... But like fuck Kellyanne Conway and like. You can't like compare addiction to being a teenager being a phone addict. It's the only way. Like you posted photos of her naked today. What the fuck? My story is fiction. My story is fiction. I have proof. I can tell them this. My story is fiction. My story is fiction. I'm not threatening you. I'm five I foot. Honestly, 95 pounds. What does that mean? Because she's so look at her. Because she's so trouble. Look at her. How am I trouble? And the shit they're saying just so fucking mean and damaging. How can someone she just woke me up. be in a position of power? That makes no sense. There's no there's no reason to do that. You can't call me mentally ill when, when how they've literally in just this phone call called her like mentally ill, a cunt, like a disgrace to their family. And fucking in for what? Because you're scared of your reputation. You posted pornography. That's a fact. Mom, that's not even like it's not even up for negotiation. Like it's not even up for discussion. You posted pornography. It might, you might have been asked. It might have been an accident. You might have done it on purpose. W regardless of the circumstance, you posted Claudia has a video of the mom sure. basically admitting that it happened, though. That you had possession of. And where is it? You deleted it's it off your phone. It was no. my... Excuse me, it's no Stop me. And the mom... You're sounding crazy. You just told the millions of people. Paris Hilton, are you okay? The dad's just very passive, or the, whatever the male figure is. No, because thousands of people have been texting me about it. Like the mom was like, or Claudia was like, she just wants us to go away, and the dad was just like, that's how it is, like type. They just have so much white power and privilege that they get to call the cops on her. They're trying to send her to a psych ward right now. Like you're gonna send her she's she's perfectly sane she's just being abused <laughs> you know how to say something like that? you're not 
you're not listening. They'll tell you how people get sex trafficked. They always know where the girls are. She said you post so much and everybody Somebody doesn't get raped or sex trafficked for what they're wearing. Did she just say people get sex trafficked for what they post? I'm pretty sure that's exactly what she said. Yo! Rot in hell. Like, it's not your followers. Like, it's like people with brains. United States. Who calls you that? United States. So let's flood it. Listen. So honestly, those people, or they believe that they have your best interests in mind, right? But for everyone of those people, you have to remember there's probably someone out there who doesn't have your best interests in mind. Okay. You're your own parents. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm just trying to explain to you that. I'm entertaining. Like, like literally, yeah, devils, devils. Who take coming here and doing something deceitful or harmful to your family. You know what I mean? So just remember that it's not only the people who like you who see these things. It's the whole world that sees. Okay? Like, yeah, no shit, bro. That is, that's a good thing that the whole world is seeing this. They almost said it themselves right there. At the end of the day, though, those people are not going to determine what happens to your I So at the end of the day, you feel that something like that happened, know who's the first person you should call? Us. Tells Claudia that she should have called them first to investigate instead of posting it. But Claudia did not post about this. The image was circulating on Twitter and her fans told her on TikTok in the comments and she was responding. And then we could have investigated. I'm scared of her. You don't I'm scared of her. I know, but She's so scared. Don't say you're going to this officer respectfully. The cops were here five days ago. He's not going to invalidate your Claudia's on FaceTime. Being pampered and spoiled like she usually is. That's no, 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 no response. It's, it's just she's not scared to ask her how many times we have no video. Um, are you scared? <laughs> the mom, did you hear the mom? So, uh, she's not scared of me. We have it on video. Like, yeah, there's a gun off camera. <laughs> Kellyanne. Oh no, I'm okay. And then when they just take me, they can they can evaluate me themselves. Because I'm not feel I would never go live like this, guys, either. But, like, that's scary. Claudia, I'm putting you in an ambulance because you've already been hospitalized three times the eyes Because of my PTSD. That wasn't why. Yes, you are. Oh, I hate her. You're literally degrading my mental health. No, you're degrading my mental health. You're using it as an excuse. Excuse me. I'm going to be the doctors. You act like I'm mentally ill. Why? Because I've done this three times, and CBS basically had to interview my whole family, and they didn't do shit. Pierre, um, from Child Protective Services, if you're watching this, you failed me. Love you, though, but you failed me. All yeah. she cares about it. I mean, obviously, I guess that's all you care about is a sick Republican politician. That's so you were suicidal. Are you okay? You were suicidal. Having anxiety and depression I'd be suicidal too if I fucking lived with you, Kellyanne Conway, you fucking kind. And three different times this year. And okay, why she got arrested for assaulting me. I got it all and uh, all for assaulting me. Literally proof of her assaulting me and they had to arrest her because the Secret Service was there. She was working. You have immunity. You were working for Donald Trump. Immunity. You were working for Donald Trump. And, and now and I don't have immunity. Bro, that's so she's sad. She needs to go back now because this is the worst I've ever seen. She's I'm not doing anything. She's gaslighting all of us. She's you are what gaslighting me. And she's, and you are really saying, gaslighting me. Pop off, Claudia. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we just stand a bad bitch. I'm sorry, I can't. I really can't. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I literally can't. Wait, okay. I'm going off live. Hold on. Nope. Bro. Nope. Or stay? No. No. I, 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 don't feel, I don't feel comfortable being near you. 
Oh, she's talking to them. Oh, well, we're muted. They say it. They will write it down. I need space Such power. The police just asked her, asked the rich ass mom if she's gonna call someone to evaluate the abuse or if they should. And the mom goes, No, I will. Like, she knows, she knows I'm live. That's good. I'm an addict to what? You can't compare this to alcoholism or being... Imagine abusing your daughter and them like, using their phone for help and then you're like, oh, you're an addict. We're sending you to a psych ward. I'm not lying that I've ever laid a hand on you. That was all investigated. It's, I have proof. CPS, New Jersey. You were comparing my... You were comparing my phone to... Oh my God, I, these people are texting me. Like... Am I allowed? Am I not allowed to be on my phone? Is that illegal? She's just lying right in front of you. Look how mad, like scared the mom is, because she's fucking knows. That's the, it's the scariest thing. They never believe the kids ever. Are you? They never believe the kids. The bar for for taking a, a, somebody out of the house who's hurting a kid is this low. Are you kidding me? Do you know who you are? You are a white, blonde, 54 year old woman who worked for Donald Trump. Fuck, go up. <laughs> Don't you love her? Talk your shit. Claudia, we're here. To you and to your mom, you're just two more individuals. Because we are not so not so she is privileged. She doesn't want to just be another person. If you were anybody else, if you were anybody else, you'd be in jail. That's why she goes Facts. Harassing me and getting to see what harassed me. I don't get anyone to harass you. You just told the world they see the video. You posted a, a, a nude photo of me today. Why did you go to jail? You just said that. Because you posted a nude photo of me. You just said that. I should go to jail. You just said that. Yes, you, you deserve to go to jail. Let, let me speak to you first. Stop! Ow! What the fuck? Don't fuck me. I'm allowed. I, I need space for her. I'm sorry. I don't feel safe near her. Guys, it's so sad. She's literally, she's literally mad because I'm on my phone. That you it's can't scary. call nine one one. It's literally scary. You're scared. If you want this situation to come, put the phone right here. Oh. I am serious. Put it down. Put it down. She's not. I'm standing here. I've asked you to put the phone down. I don't face the same in case he comes out and be like, see if yeah, it's legal. You're going to start learning what's legal and what's not legal instead of making it up and getting your legal advice on TikTok. Okay? Those days are over. Just so you know, <laughs> yes. um, a knife in New Jersey did a full investigation, no finding. CPS Washington, D.C., full investigation. Here's yeah, they happened. work for you, cunt. I think this is the night she just has to go, George. She has, I'm trending on Twitter. Stop, stop talking to me. Wait, she's what the fuck? She's so upset she's trending on Twitter. She posted my nudes on her Twitter today. Did you see that? Listen. No, he has, he has nothing, nothing to do with this right now, okay? Please, yeah. um, but, but in Washington, D.C., all three of the other kids had to be interviewed. My mother, who saw her all the way through the interview, who lives in the sound. You are you actively gaslighting them right These now. These are the facts. I just need to know what the Metropolitan Police Department did. They were involved, child protective services were involved, no finding whatsoever. She diverted resources away from kids who, who really are in need. Then it happened here. In she New has Jersey called the summer. police, she does. They, they show up and then their rich the white Republican parents, parents just fucking times, know them and they don't do anything. Her mother, by name, she had gotten to fight with him. I'm not living this way anymore, guys. It, it I'm has pretty sure. Um, my she's life is in danger. Over. She's on. She's on TikTok tonight, telling me I will be danger. arrested. I will be arrested. I should be arrested. You posted a nude photo. Of I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. There's nobody, nobody intentionally posted anything of you. There is no nude photo of you. You just lied to the officers that quote millions of people saw you when Carmelo himself told you. No, that was the one tweet. Mom, no. that since then it's been no. sent around. No, it's not sent around. You're wrong. It is nowhere. They don't see it. You don't see I it. I saw it's it. Nowhere. You're making this up to be Bitch. a big shot. I'm not making it. And instead of calling the police, excuse me, instead of calling the police 
for Diana, who has an active case open, Diana Winona, or your mother, you went right to TikTok. They see you have an addiction. You need to break this addiction. You need to go somewhere where they help girls like you. Who She's literally can't trying to take her home. It's so because it's like she knows it's like the life, her only life. way out. I have an addiction to my phone. But you think TikTok? I'm literally barely on it, and when I am, it's trying to get help from people because you are. You think TikTok you. is real? You think TikTok is real? You think that? And you just said, I lo- um, I, "I'm so glad I have the love of 1.5 million people." You have the love of a family and friends. No, I am not. Oh, the cops are here again. And I don't think she's going to make it this time. She needs serious evaluation. For what? What did I do that I need serious she needs evaluation? Serious evaluation. I got some. Yep. Yeah, she's here. If only the world could see you like this. If only. Claudia. About oh. what? If only the world could see you like this. Fuck. The cops are here because the cops get calls from strangers. And they have to take it seriously. People sit on their asses like she does online, in the dark, pretending it's real life, calling her mother a fucking cunt, get the fuck out. Who, she I'm just called her a cunt like, 10 minutes before this. She's talking to MTV and buy a pound for her. It's such a joke. She doesn't do she any of that. She can't buy a pound for her. 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 She She posted a, a new photograph of her minor daughter today to her own Twitter story and then is going to abuse the daughter for, for bringing her hate. What a, what a waste, waste of space. space. She's so mean. New Jersey called Governor Murphy's whatever, and then they call the cops, and then they have to call Dyfus. You feel better about this? this? A naked picture of me is posted on your Instagram. I don't have Instagram. I never have. That's you. I've never had Facebook in my life. I have never had TikTok in my life. I'm not so insecure. followers on Twitter. I hate Twitter. Your father loves Twitter. You love social media. I hate it. I have to live my life offline. I would too if I was a fucking abuser. And kids who rely upon me. And there are three others besides you, and I spent one whole year on you and so lot for this. One whole year. <gasps> the Fuck. The cop just hung up. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna save this live, y'all. I'm gonna get back on Twitter. Justice for Claudia Conway. Oh my god, I'm fucking furious. Fuck that bitch. Literally. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do you save a live once you press end now? I don't even want to end it until. Oh my god. Sorry if that was unwarranted, you guys. I would never do anything like that at all. I've just been texting Claudia for fucking days. Like, I, like I'm like i here for her. I love her. I want to get her out of it. I think it's the saddest situation. Like, that's what's so sad. Everyone's like, call the police. Like, that mom is so sick. And they were set. Like, before I went live, like, I have it all on video. I don't know what Claudia wants. Like, you know, it's up to her. I'm just saying, like, the shit they were fucking saying. They're evil people. It's so fucking sad. And she deserves so much better. Hi guys, I just wanted to come on here and address the situation. Uh, this isn't forced, this is coming completely from me, Claudia. 
Um, I have faith and I know that my mother would never put something like that on the internet as well as me. We would never do that. My mom and I, we fight like mothers and daughters, but we also love like mothers and daughters and I do love her. I will be taking a break from social media um, because we are really tired of being headlines and we fight like mothers and daughters, but being in the public eye exacerbates that greatly and it adds a lot of stress to both of our lives and I don't want that. Um, I don't want any drama, I don't want any hate. So I will be leaving social media for a bit to work on my relationship with my mom and my family. Please do not incite hate or violence on my family. Please, no threats, no calls to authorities. I love my mom and she loves me. Yesterday when I was made aware of the situation, I was distraught um, and very, very upset and I acted irrationally and impulsively and it is something that I do regret. I know that my mom would never ever post anything to hurt me like that intentionally and I do believe she was hacked. On another note, I want to apologize for making all of this public and the best option right now and the best path right now for the both of us um, is to get off of social media and work on our relationship. Before you guys say this is forced, this isn't forced. Um, this isn't forced and we all do things and say things that we don't mean um, in the heat of the moment and out of frustration and fear um, and anxiety and I'm sorry it was not mature of me and we are going to work on our relationship offline. TikTok users who are generally used to seeing Claudia's content were pretty much immediately concerned. Some users suggested that she use the violence at home signal for help. You palm to the camera and tuck your thumb trapped under your forefingers. Please stop calling authorities because it only hurts us more than it helps us. Um, making threats and whatnot is really putting my safety um, at risk and putting me in danger. Um, and I get that you are trying to help me, but it is by putting my family in danger, you're putting me in danger. So. Please stop with that. We're going to handle this privately, and I will never, ever be speaking about this publicly. Um, um, um. Like I said in my last video, um, I will be taking a break um, because social media is a really dark place. And instead of, you know, shining light on this situation, um, hate and violence were incited. And that was never, ever my intention nor my mom's. Um, we will not be dealing with this on social media anymore and we are both going to take breaks to work on our relationships because we do we do love each other very 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 much um and we would never intentionally try to hurt each other especially not in the public eye um i just wanted to clear everything up um please put an end to all of this if you see a picture of me report it if you see anything my mom and i report it um please do me a favor and stop spreading this um, because it hurts me more than it helps me. Same with my mom. It hurts both of us more than it helps us. Um, thank you all for understanding. The section continues to be flooded by people who are not really buying that this video is genuine. And what we can only assume is in front of her parents. She pretty much says that she takes back anything she ever said before this point and that it hurts her more than it helps her and it makes her unsafe for us to continue to say that this video is forced. Please, guys, I know this seems really weird, but to keep me safe, please listen. With her reassurance, some followers are still not buying it. However, the mainstream media is quick to run with her apology videos and let us know that everything's okay and they have been reunited and we should just leave Claudia and Kellyanne alone. A commenter points out that she did not bring this to the public and she replies, yeah, I know up limiting the comments on her page. She changes her bio to state 629 more days, which is a reference to her 18th birthday when she will no longer be under her parents' care. I'll let YouTuber D'Angelo Wallace explain the next part. Be sure to check out his page. After that was all happening, George Conway, the dad, posts this tweet right here. Our daughter Claudia asked me to tweet this statement for her. You expect me to believe after like months of her explaining why she doesn't feel like she has a voice, she now then asks you to tweet something for her? 
also the first time George Conway addresses anything related to Claudia in months, despite the fact he has been tweeted at multiple times about the abuse allegations as well as leaving the family home. This is just to give you an idea of how often he tweets. This is just from the last 24 hours. However, he has never addressed any of the following. I don't even have anything to say here, just that this is all still from the last 24 hours. day after the Capitol riots, but don't quote me on that. Claudia says he walked into my room, gave me a charger, said goodbye, and left without saying anything to my little sisters. The next day, Claudia posts a TikTok with the caption, can someone tweet this to him and maybe he'll answer me? After saying you want nothing to do with mom and this family, gave me a charger and left, you didn't say goodbye to any of your kids. You just left. I never bonded with you. And no response. I figured you've been tweeting but can't respond to your daughter. Maybe I should just tweet it to you. Georgia's tweet claiming that Claudia has asked him to tweet her apology video ends up being the top tweet of her trending hashtag, essentially controlling the narrative. He then limits his comments so it's impossible for anyone to refute the claims. Some people were quick to point out that this is not the first time her parents have forced an apology from her. However, the mainstream media was more easily fooled. These people are just trying to tell us it's not a big deal. Only 32 people commented on it. 32. Are trying to tell us all to move on. Please put an end to all of this. And they're trying to tell us to forget about what happened. And stop spreading this. They're trying to tell us to move on without any accountability, without any truth telling. And they're trying to say, you're making too big a deal over it. She diverted resources away from kids who, who really are in need or even telling us to apologize. I want to apologize for making all of this public and I'm sorry, it was not mature of me. For saying and speaking truth to what happened. These are the tactics of abusers, or rather these are the tactics that abusers use. We cannot move on without accountability. We cannot heal without accountability. We do not hold people accountable, what they're asking for when they say, can we just move on, is that what they are asking is, can you just, can we just forget this happened so that I can do it again without recourse? So that tells me that these people remain a present danger. finds a way to get back on TikTok and strategically likes comments that indicate the videos were forced and scripted and that she was forced to leave social media. Soon after, she discovers an account called Justice for Claudia Conway that has re-uploaded all of the evidence she was forced to delete that she so desperately tried to share. I cannot even express how emotional this makes me. My whole life, people have brought me down and told me I was lying, but you all trying to help me means the world. It means everything. I can't post anything on my account because of a lot of stuff, but thank you. Please don't stop, please. Thank you for this, I really do. You are sharing my story when I no longer can and I couldn't be more grateful. I am so scared, I love you. She then tags the Justice for Claudia Conway account on all four of her apology videos saying, I can't say anything but here. Um, and it sucks that I'm kind of being used as a publicity stunt and a PR stunt. It actually sucks. 
Hi guys, I need to adjust this immediately. I wasn't going to talk about this account on my page um, for the safety of the women running it. Um, let me start off by saying that I've never been more grateful um, to anyone for their generosity, their time, their effort, um, and their protection um, than I have for, um, I'm not gonna say her name, but uh, the owner of Justice for Claudia. This woman gave me a voice when I couldn't use mine and I will forever be grateful for it. Um, you know, I just want you guys to know that I'm still on this earth because of all of you. I love you guys so much. And I just want to say thank you for supporting me. They can't fight for themselves. They can't speak out for themselves. They need somebody else to do it. Uh, but especially during this time, you need to care. He takes aim at the Department of Children and Family Services. Four had been charged, but the appeals court dismissed the case, ruling that the workers did not have a legal responsibility to care for a child the way a parent did, a position rejected by Deputy DA John Hatami. I think you not only have a moral and ethical obligation to save that child, I think you have a legal obligation to save that child. And if you don't, I think the public then should have the right to, to hold you criminally responsible. Trauma compounds on each other. And so whether you had a negligent or, you know, a neglectful parent and, or whether you had someone who was verbally abusive to you, um, whether you are a survivor of abuse, whether you experience any sort of trauma um, in your life, small to large. These episodes can compound on one another. There's no, you know, something really big happening to you and then you deal with it and then you move on and then when something else happens to you, you deal with that and then, when you, and then you move on. All of our experiences make us who we are. And that's also to say that most people live with trauma and it's not to, and that doesn't even diminish, you know, any of the trauma that any one of us may have been through. Um, but it is to say that there is a community of so many people who can understand. As a survivor, um, I struggle with the idea of being believed. I don't know what Kellyanne's talking about, but I believe Claudia. 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 I believe you, Claudia. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. I do believe Claudia Conway. Everything she's saying about her abuse, her stories, it's all true and y'all just choose who to believe and not to. I believe Claudia Conway. 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 If you or anyone else you know is in this situation like Claudia's, please don't be scared to reach out. Although it may very much so seem very difficult to reach out, I promise there is at least one person that will be there to help you. Please, if you are in this situation and you wanna reach out to law enforcement, I recommend going to the fire station instead of the police. They will be able to help more, especially if you are in a dire situation. I believe Claudia Conway. I believe Claudia Conway's story. Fuck abuse. I believe Claudia Conway. I believe Claudia. 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 Claudia. I believe Claudia Conway. So much so that I have reached out to Drew Barrymore and David Crosby on Twitter and had a conversation with David Crosby asking him to help her. I believe Claudia. I definitely believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. We believe you, Claudia. I believe Claudia Conway. I believe Claudia Conway. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. Claudia deserves justice. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia Conway. We hear you, Claudia. We're listening. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia. I 100% believe Claudia.
Guess what, Kellyanne? I believe Claudia Conway. I believe Claudia. 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 We believe Claudia! I believe Claudia Conway. I 100% believe Claudia. I 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 believe Claudia Conway. She needs to be removed from that situation. I believe you, Claudia. I believe you. I believe you. I completely believe you. I believe you, Claudia. I believe you, Claudia. We believe you, Claudia. We all believe you, Claudia. This has gone on way too long. I'm a mom, and I believe Claudia. 40 year old father of four, and I believe Claudia. I believe Claudia, and you should too. I deserve justice, like my whole life I was physically and verbally abused and that's not okay.